Oh, it's not the math. Easy solution. I'm going to discuss uh, another random tutorial on uh, Microsoft Excel. Basically, convert a number to a fraction is pretty useful in Excel. Basically, what I mean by it is if you have, let's say, uh, let's say 1.5, this becomes 1 and 1 half. So basically, uh, to get this in, in Excel, I'll just drag it open here. Okay, so I have uh, Excel open right here. So what I mean by that is, well, we'll just write 1.5. It's written. So 1.5 is basically uh, this number, and what you could do with Excel, just click over here on the Home tab, go Fraction. So you got one and one halves. And uh, if you were to write something, let's say three or four, it on the this custom or on without specifying the format, it's gonna make it the date or whatever. So you should we'll basically change this back. Just go here, click Fraction. But this one uh, this is a code for uh, the date so just go again three over four and now here we can actually divide these out so yeah that's two apparently so uh, even if you have a table of it let's say 1.3 or, or just write it here this random numbers let's go here uh, actually let's write these in fractions actually Let's say another one okay so what you can do again you could just highlight this whole say uh, this whole thing here and convert them to a fraction again to a fraction so yeah you have th this is the default it goes to the minimum there but you could also well you could also go to more number formats and you could change how it is you can make it up to two digits this one's up to one digit it rounds it here so up to one digit up to two digits or you can click this to go there up to three digits you could also go to right click format cells as halves you could even specify as halves if you're using a metric I mean the imperial system for inches and whatnot and you you want to do that so you could also go to quarters as sixteenth or even as hundredths this one's pretty interesting yeah so you could have it like that so it just rounds to, to that closest hundredths so uh, now um, what, uh, what you could also do yeah, you could also, well, you could just sum these up and everything works fine. Because uh, with what Excel does, it uh, actually stores the number. If you go to here, if you look up here, this is 0 0.23423. So it, it stores it as a decimal, as the exact number you put in, whatever. And then you, and then, uh, but it shows as that fraction. So now, um, let's say we wanted to, let's say we wanted to convert, um, let's say this number. I'll just show you the calculation it does. 3.416 to a fraction. Right, so what Excel does is basically, well, it looks at this. It looks at everything to the left of the decimal place. It's three, so that's three holes. So you're going to get, well, 3.456 is equal to 3 plus 0.456. So we don't need the 3 anymore. And now we just deal with this one right here. And now we have to just get this to a fraction. So then uh, basically 0.456, if you just times the top and bottom by 1,000, because there's three uh, decimal places, just get all the decimals out of there. This is equals to 456 over 1,000. Then if you were to divide this by 2, I'm just trying to get the, the default, uh, what Excel will put in fractions. So divide this by 2, let's just um, divide by 2, divide by 2. This one's going to equal 2, well this is going to be two there's another two in there two two eight over five hundred so it keeps doing this so it divides by two again divides by two again and this this would equal two well this is one one four over two fifty again it divides by two it divides by two this is gonna you're gonna get over here well this one will be this is ten is five and 14.7 so 57 over 125 so now you can't divide by 2 anymore without getting a decimal place but regardless um, it still does it right here so it, right here yeah you can't these can't divide these out anymore you can't divide to get it a non decimal like if you divide this by 2 you're gonna get is this one gonna be 20 something yeah, this one, if you divide this by 2, you're going to get, this one's going to be, let's say, 2, 7, this, this is going to equal to 28.5 over, this is a 6, 2.5. So you, the, these have uh, these ones right here, and you, you 
can't do that there. But what Excel does, because if you have a default to the single fraction, to the single digit, it, it just uh, converts this into the closest one. Uh, so this one, if you look at it, the closest is actually um, 1 over 2. This is basically, it's similar to 60 over 120. And so it, it keeps dividing this out until it's really close, and this one is equal to 1 over 2. So then we should get 3 and 1 over 2. That's from this one right here. Well, let's just put an Excel right here. Let's put it right here. We'll get, let's say, 3.456. Let's just convert this into number format. I mean fraction, you can go here up to one digit. Yes, yeah, so three and one, two, so we were right there. So let's, but let's say we wanted um, even further, let's see what happens here. If I click this, up to two digits, 3168. So this is, uh, I'll show you, uh, I'll explain this in a bit. This one's a bit off from our, here if you divide by two, you get 28.5 divided by 62.5. Well, this is the F31.68, but then if you were to go three digits, you get 57 or 125, 57, 125. So we were correct there. So basically, uh, to get back to uh, this one, the 3168, how it does this? Well, it's similar to what I was doing before. So you had, um, let's say, 3.456. This equals 2, 3, and equals 0.456. So right here, yeah, so right here, I just want to compare this one. You can actually drag this without changing anything. I just want to compare, let's put it right here, 3.456 with this one, 3168. Let's go equals 2, well, 31. I'll just write it here, 3168. And then here, we'll just divide it out. Let's see what we get. So we get close to this one. So it's right here, 0.4558. Let's just see the error difference. Click here, you can press F4, or you can press dollar sign, dollar sign 10. So it, it, it fixed here when I shift it. You can do that in another, just, uh, pay attention. So basically, so the difference here is really, really small here. But then now if we go back to this one, uh, it's 28.5, but uh, Excel actually rounds it. Uh, so basically you can test what, where it rounds. If you have 0.5, then if you click on this this thing right here, just what you get is more digits. So it rounds up. So this one is actually, if, if it just went straight to this one, rounded up, it would have been 29.63. So let's plug in 29. This is what it what I thought it should have been uh, in the fraction. This should have been, I thought, 29 over 63. And then if you were to check, let's say this one, we'll just copy these two. And this one, uh, this equation stayed there because it's the dollar signs on both sides. So basically here, this one, this is more accurate. You can see here, this is closer to zero than this one. This one's actually a bit above. So what I think what Excel does is increments slowly until it gets to a certain, I think um, this is a 10 thousandths uh, accuracy. So that's probably why I got there. So if you were to change this to, let's say 30, that's 0.2, so that's, that's not right. 64, 65, it's getting a bit bigger. So then it's getting closer to it, 167. That's now it went too big, so we gotta actually get this 31. Now it's too big there, and then 68, and it, it gets really small there. So I, I think, and if you were to get over it, let's say 32, that's uh, that's uh, way off. You can see the number 47, 45.5, and I think it, it doesn't. It tries not to get over. So you can go. Let's say this is gonna be if, if I left it here, 69. 44 so this is much smaller than this one's closer. So basically, I think it just incrementally it just checks which one's the closest, and then it gets to this one here. Well, that's uh, that's all for today. Hopefully, you learned uh, the fractions. Pretty useful. Uh, I actually had a request to make this video, so uh, hopefully I learned. And uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.